All right, so this is a quest for the lost city of Ancador Heart. So we gotta go to Camp Trample. Alright, so we gotta go back to the entrance of the place to unlock it. Alright, so I'm running this one with some pugs, some random duty finder people. So uh, it's my first time. Let's see how this turns out. Damn, the tank's already going for it. Oh, never mind, it's turning back. <laughs> I feel like the look of that beetle. This beetle should be what the... the vast, whatever the bug creature described. That should be what the mountain looked like. I don't know what they have currently, like I've never seen whatever they had currently in the game before. It's just like... I mean, I guess this wasn't in the game either, but it, for some reason, looks more vast. Because they're, because they're all like beetles. Yeah, look at this wall. I also haven't played Summoner in a while, so I probably am gonna make a million mistakes. <laughs> they also changed Ruin 3, so I'm not used to that change yet. I'm entirely sure if I'm supposed to be using Ruin 3 all the time. I guess I'll figure that out later.
It's pretty much the same as the other amp Ampator, what it was called. It's got like the same design. I guess now it's raining. Before it's more sunny. Oh, it's butterflies now. That's where... Looks like the butterfly minion. So I bet the butterfly minion comes from here. Well, the butterflies look kind of out of place in this. This, this place is all like infected. So it's like wider. But it should be moths. I mean, there were moths kind of in the older one. Bakura, uh, whatever they're called. Uh, I, don't know if, I don't know if butterflies fit. Also, it's raining. Butterflies don't come out in the rain. I'm ruining my immersion. I'm not sure if we're supposed to be burning the wall. Killing these butterflies. Wonder if I mean the wall is like the same as um what's that? The bees in that dungeon in the in uh Adoshire. One of these butterflies. Faster. Oh shit, more spawn. I thought they like eating me. Some like mutated butterfly. See, they should all look like that. I mean, that looks more diseased. Everyone's turning away. A healer's turning away right now. Should I be turning away? Is this one of those like look away moves? Someone turn away. Oh, what the hell? There's like clones. Oh, Jesus. That's a big pono. Oh, so he turned away to make the clone so that. Your Kono doesn't hit everybody like that. That guy's Kono is hitting everybody. Oh, I almost killed him too. <laughs> I forgot what the move was called that made that, so... Oh, Jesus, these Konos are huge. So, I mean, I... I don't know if energy drain is should be part of the rotation. Okay, that's another home. Because energy drain will give me more MP for Ruin 3. I mean, they said it's better than Pain Clear now, but... It's like... It only works if I use all my MP. Probably stand closer to it in case these big clones get me. Oh, look, clones have butterfly wings too. When they, when they uh, do their clono. Butterfly wings are pretty cool. No 
idea what that is. I guess you just run with it. Yeah, I don't think the energy drain should matter. I mean, if it only works if I'm if I actually use all my MP, which I'm not. Oh god! Like tanks, didn't turn away. Oh, if something is targeting me. No, it's that poison cloud thing. I guess I'll just run with it. I should not have used Raging Strikes here, that is... That was a waste. Yeah, I guess I'll... Put that to my retainer. The entire eye levels do. Yeah, high eye level, uh, fetch quests, whatever they're called. Ventures. Lower area looks kind of the same from before too. Nothing very different. I mean, this dragon wasn't here before. Rift dragon. It's kind of random dragon here. Here we have some Machi corpses and Amplifori corpses. I'm not sure if it's pronounced Machi. Uh, but I guess if you don't know the story between these guys, is uh, back a long time ago in the this era, the this Astro era, I guess it was. Uh, there was three big cities: Amplifori, the Machi, and the Nimians. So the Nimians were the scholars and warriors, so they used scholar fairies and warriors. To fight uh, Amdapori, people were the white mages, so you can see their like white mage bodies here. And the Machi were the black mages, or back then they were void mages. Uh, so they got in a war with all three of them for some reason. And uh, it was like a stalemate. Oh, this this Amdapori thing looks pretty cool. But uh, the Machi uh, summoned uh, Diablos into Amdapor to try to kill off the white mages. So from the void, the outflows were summoned, and the white mages uh, managed to seal him away at great cost. And he basically made the city look like all disgusting like it is now. Um, and they, the Machi also summoned a disease void creature that turned the Nimians into Tonberries. That's why the Tonberries exist in this game, they're like diseased Nimians. And so they all died. Um, and the uh, elementals during the war, the white mages and the black mages, they were sucking so much aether from the world that the elementals got mad. So one of them decided to flood the whole world and kill everyone and kind of restart everything. So that, that was a calamity that happened after that. And then the six humble era would start after that, or astral, or whatever era. But yeah, so they're all dead. Uh, the Machi tried to escape the flood by building a void arc. But, uh,. They failed. Um, the white mages uh, from Amdapur became, well, whoever survived uh, made Jalmora or Jalmora. And they kind of lived underground for a while. And then they probably found Gradanian afterwards. Uh, the black mages still did, some of them did survive and formed Belladia. 
is uh, in the desert. And then eventually Belladia split into Alda and Silda, I think it was called, whatever the two sisters thing. But then those two fought a war, and Alda won with a bunch of zombies. I think in the story, they blame that the, the Silda people made the zombies but were killed by Alda, but in the Hill of Crest, I think the reality is the zombies were a disease crafted by the Alda. So it was actually Alda's that created the disease or something like that. I think that's how it happened. And then the Nimians, um, I'm not sure if they became the Lamincia people, but they are still here. They're kind of like Thornberries and all mad now. So that's kind of strange. So maybe these Rift Dragons come from the Void because of uh, Machi fighting the war here. That's. A, I mean, that was a pretty interesting amount of backstory. Probably in the future, more lore will be released about the ancient war, Maggie. And this boss looks like a statue. Oh. That looks like a mechanic, and I have no idea what it's supposed to do. Looks like it's charging up. Oh, and it exploded. I mean, it didn't really do anything to us. Right, so I bet we have to kill this thing, though. It looks like it's charging up, too. Another one of these balls, and you ran into that one. But... And another one. That one looks different. He's running into them too, and it's dealing damage to him. Oh, so now I have wind resistance down. Okay, so I get it now. So that one looked like an earth one. So I bet I'm supposed to trigger the, the earth ones because I have wind resistance down. So that's an earth one right there. So I'll go trigger it. Or, or yeah, he can also trigger it because he has the same debuff as me. And I bet the, the earth resistance down people are supposed to trigger the wind ones. I'm not sure what happens if you don't trigger it. Maybe they explode. That one doesn't even look like it has Earth or Wind. I'm not too sure what it's supposed to be happening there. So he's triggered both of them. And you now I have Wind Resistance down again. So those are two Wind ones that Earth guy has to trigger. So oh, okay, so that looks like it's triggering them. I mean, these guys probably have done this before. I'm not sure who's new and who's not in here. Why Major just got that one? Ancient arrow. So I wonder if that would kill me since I have wind resistance now. Now I have earth resistance now. I guess that's this guy's uh, whole thing he does the elemental stuff. Although, I mean, I can't say. He was that interesting, actually. This part of the city looks cleaner now. I guess this is the actual how it would have actually looked like. 
and it has all these like that gargoyle that we just faced. Oh, so there's so just more of them now. I bet these guys will come alive. <laughs> this thing is moving. I don't know. Oh, they're coming alive. So as far as probably these guys probably protected this place from becoming all disease like it was above ground. Uh, that lost hate it's happening. I'm dying. Oh, so there's a chest down there. These ads are a new ad that we haven't seen in this game yet. Pots. White Major's doing pretty good. He's doing a lot of uh, DPS. I have to accommodate them if I remember. So, uh, looks like looks like two people, including me, are new. So there's three three new people, according to the achievements, at least. Uh, and only the white mage has done this before. This is probably a construct created by the white mages. Uh, Steward of life and amplifier. I mean, in the previous boss used Holy and Arrow. You can see the, it's like white mage moves. But I mean, I'm not 
I mean, I thought we were here to fight some like pestilence that elementals were afraid of. This doesn't look like pestilence to me. These look like they're all clean. It's casting Cure 4. That wasn't that good of a cure, that was like a slither of his HP. <laughs> Tier three. Well, that was that was more than tier four. back alive. Nasty region. Uh huh. Tier four. Oh, so his attacks, his healing attacks now become offensive attacks. So, regen became that like thing on the ground. Dot. Be careful. Became some big AOE. There's cure two. He also has a vulnerability down stack, so he's more buffed up now. Tier 4 again. Alright, so he's gonna raise again. So I never really have to kill this guy. Oh, he's deep playing on his soul. He cures himself. Smart. Oh man, I healed him quite a bit. Decoy again. This one looks like a dark base one. So now he's, I guess he's switching back and forth between its two forms. I was not wasn't cure two, it was cure three. I missed that little extra line. But it looks like okay, so that's that's the end there. I mean, I feel the dungeon was okay, but accommodate this white age.
Um, I don't know. It was okay, but the first time we did Amp the Amp the Poor, that was amazing because it was different. It was like, oh man, this is Disease City, you know, it's all mystery in there. Now we're going back to it again. This time, I don't know. Plus, Diablo's had some interesting mechanics with uh, the doors and stuff. Anyways, we gotta go back to complete the quest. And then we're done. Isn't this the old Gridania music from So they actually touched upon how it wasn't a disease monster at the end, but some stature. Anyways, that's all. I'll see you guys later.